So lawmakers are expected to pass hundreds of bills this week as the session resumes after Oregon's longest walkout came to an end. Many of those bills will make huge waves in the lives of Oregonians, like Senate Bill 91, which would provide a salary for full-time parent caregivers. K2's Christina Giardinelli reports. Prior to the pandemic, Medicare did not pay parents to take care of their severely disabled children. That means that some parents, like Callie Ross, could not help provide for their families. Callie Ross says every day she gets to spend with her eight-year-old son, Tenzi, is a blessing. He was born, and he was born tiny at three pounds, three ounces, and... We figured, but he was full term and we figured something was going on. Tests showed he has a rare genetic condition. A form of primordial dwarfism and a um, deletion on one of his genes that would cause seizures. He requires round the clock care, which she willingly provides for him with some occasional help from in home caregivers. It means she can't work and her husband has taken on a second job to cover expenses. Medicare pays for in home professionals, but it would not pay for parent caregivers until the pandemic hit. All of a sudden, you know, states were like, ah, we have no nurses and no caregivers and people need to stay out of other people's homes. During that time, about 1,400 parents like Callie in Oregon were paid to take care of their children with disabilities. They changed the quality of life for us all, and especially for him. They gave us the peace of mind knowing that he could stay home, that we weren't going to lose him to an institution, and that is now my greatest fear because this is just not a sustainable life. She and Tenzi have been at the Capitol almost every day for the past three weeks, pushing for a bill that would continue paying parent caregivers. After clearing a number of hurdles, Senate Bill 91 has a shot at making it to the finish line this legislative session. At the live desk, Cristina Giardinelli, K2 News.